<laughs> Didn't even see you. Oh god, stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Now take a look at this. Now I've combined a couple of the dies together to make this amazing looking splice of a die. And I am so happy with this. This looks so good. Hello, hello, welcome back. My name is Saban and this is another episode of Terraria. So basically this time I have been playing around with some dyes because I kind of want to customize my outfit. So I had a load of strange plants and as you may have noticed, I got the, uh, oops, does help to go the right way. I got the, uh, like the dye trader or whatever his name is. I don't really know, but he deals with strange plants. So you give him all the strange plants, which I had quite a few, which I'd sort of accumulated. So I had a little go. I bought the dye vat as well, because I want to play around with that. Um, I don't know if you want to suggest uh, a dye that uh, you'd like to see me play with uh, and try and make, but at the minute I managed to get glowing actually. I'll end with that one. Red acid dye, which looked really cool. So it kind of pulses out, which is kind of really crazy looking. And because the meteorite armor um, gives off a particle, I think that's why um, it gives off the red, which is kind of nice. And we've got a shadow dye, which it just turns you like completely black pixel. Like, you can only see my little mouth. <laughs> Not a massive fan of that, if I'm honest, but hey, it's not bad. And then I got uh, reflective, is it reflective obsidian dye? So another dark one. Um, there is uh, one which is very similar, but I kind of like this one at the minute. I like how it kind of highlights, but the one really good thing about this one is at night time, you glow. So you can see yourself, which is always a nice little feature to have. So um, I'm gonna rock this one for the time being, but there is one die which I want, um, and I'm gonna have to try and find uh, blue beetle husks. So I'm gonna go into uh, one of the tunnels which I had before. Yeah, it, 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 there's a beetle which uh, sort of digs around there, which I need to try and spawn it, and I haven't seemed to come across it yet. So um, I had a little play around in there. I couldn't find it. It's really difficult. So what I want to try and do is make, there's a potion which um, you can make, which will increase the spawn rate of enemies. So, and I believe that's using deathweed, rotten chunk. I need more deathweeds, really. Oh, I've got another strange plant. I've got three strange plants. They were hiding in there a little bit, weren't they? Um, I'll go and play with that then. And I need a bottle, which wherever they are, there they are. I need that with water in it. So, where have we got water? Hopefully that's enough. Yep. Might need to uh, uh, shove that up there. And hopefully I can place this bottle somewhere. <laughs> so I've got bottled water, which I need. Now I need to place this down. There we go. It's kind of cold, isn't it? And now I should be at, there we go. Battle potion. I can only make the one. Might be all right for now. Um, I will drop these back in here. Put that there and put the bottle next to it as well let's go and see what these strange plants give us because that's a nice little little turn of events to come and stumble across that you got three of them it's pretty cool something a little bit different isn't it a bit different have a look at this one Ooh, <laughs> psychedelic kind of wavy little rainbowy kind of effect nice nice i like it i like it acid dye acid dye <laughs> lovely it's like the uh the red one obviously uh it kind of pulses out still a massive fan of the glowing one so i like the glowing properties of it so i'm gonna still rock that one for the time being i think that's the best way to game but what we do need is to get to 
the ice underground. I think it could be above or below. Um, I think, but I think I've only ever seen beetles underground. Okay, we made it to the ice biome and it's close. It's not the right color. I already have one of those as well. A bit frustrating. So let's get the battle potion. I don't know how long it's gonna last, six, okay. Hopefully get attacked by everything, but I'll get the slush while I'm here waiting for everything to spawn. Need that torch, thank you very much. Cool. Ooh, yes, that's what I want. Uh, excuse me, busy. This is when I die or something. Oh my god, can you sort out your aim? Mate, what are you doing? There we go. Oops. This is exactly what I wanted, but I think I need more. I'm going to stick it out because I don't want to just give up there though. That was nice. And productive for the first map, please. Uh, not a bad start, not a bad start. Okay, I had to do a little bit of mining for uh, a bit of death weed uh, because I hadn't got any. So, and we've got some more water. We've got one cyan husk, uh, which is great. Two battle potions now. Another two death weeds if required, you know. Um, drop these in here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Sneaky devil in there, yay. Oh, I found a spider layer. <laughs> They're everywhere. Oh, it's a granite. <laughs> Coming out the walls. No idea. Not a fan of spiders, I'll be honest with you. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Didn't even see him. <laughs> oh god, stop it. Who's this? Weeped stylist. <laughs> I think they're creeping out the walls at me. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh. Oh, got another uh, NPC. On earth. Do this. Oh, there it is, boys. Just when I thought to give up, and there it is. Got them all. I think. I think. I think we're good. Okay, we're back home. We managed to get everything I need for what I wanted to create. And I saw it and I kind of wanted to have these dyes because although this is a great dye and I do love it, it's the glowing mushroom dye. Really like it. Got Mirage dye and everything. I got the red acid and the other acid one, the normal acid dye, which are great. Now I found another strange plant on my travels. I got a load of, um, life crystals as well which is great uh, just to increase that and uh i think that's kind of the main bit so let's see what he gives me this time reflective obsidian die now that's just the same okay so i've got one sky blue die now another good thing about having a jungle biome is you can get sky blue flowers on the cheap you know when i make and um <laughs> Basically, the one die that I wanted to make, which I hope I've remembered it correctly. So I need three teal dies, three cyan dies, and a cyan sky blue die. I think that's the right one. That's the one, isn't it? 
which is the silent gradient die. I should be able to make three of them. Now, I am fingers crossed that this looks as good as I'm hoping it's going to look. It might look better with a different armor, so we're just going to have to test that. So we will see. I'm just hoping it's nice. Ooh, it does look pretty good. I like. Wow, okay. Because, I was, because the channel colors are like green and blue, I kind of thought this might be quite a nice one. As I change the armors, I can obviously change the dyes along with it. So that was pretty cool. No, I like that. No, I'm happy with my very long time spent trying to find all these items. <laughs> I found lava, finally. Um, speaking of lava, I did... Where did I put it? There it is. I can now put it at the bottom, but I kind of... I'm a bit hesitant to do so because, as you can see, it's kind of a pit for frogs. And I do love my frogs, mate. I don't want to kill them unnecessarily. So I might need to maybe put a platform over. What I, The thing that I'd love to do is to set a trap where I can activate it inside with a button. Like, you know, like an active block that will turn it on and off. So it would be a death pit whenever I need it to be. But I think I need a couple more houses because I think they're all taken up. Yeah. I do need more houses again. <laughs> um, if you want to uh, suggest a build that I can do, um, which would go with my theme at the moment, Okay, just before we finish up, um, I actually went and got a couple more things just to really experiment with the different dyes that's there. So I have managed to find a couple more strange plants. So see what they come about. Let's see if there's anything too interesting from them. Reflective metal, reflective copper. Okay. Oops. Let's get rid of these first. Let's try that one. It's kind of a cool, like... black kind of look and there's the copper one very metallic -y looking now what i wanted to do i'm going to show you a couple of dyes now because uh, i've got some lime i can make three of those now i can make green and i can make cyan from some of the ones i picked up and yeah there's a load of these things so okay so we can make the yellow dye also these are Oh, great and everything, but they're pretty, pretty basic, mate. Pretty basic, you know. Very nice and everything. Don't get me wrong, but no, it's not what it's not what we're after. We're looking for a cocktail. Okay, so I wanted to make this green flame die to see what that's like. Now, it's pretty cool. I did find some black ink because, let me tell you, the best way of getting squid, because it's quite a rare thing, is to wait for the blood moon and uh, toddle on over there. I think I'll try the green flame and silver dye. Just for science. And hopefully... Okay. I'm sure it probably looks different with other, because that's mostly silver. So the color's completely almost gone with that, so that's interesting. Let's see what the cyan and black looks like, even though I haven't got enough. That's the bottom half. Okay. So it's like a highlighted element to it. I'm happier with my gradient one, because I've got a bit of both colors. So tell me what you think. Which one do you prefer the most? Now take a look at this. Now I've combined a couple of the dyes together to make this amazing looking splice of a dye. And I am so happy with this. This looks so good. So my boots and my and my wrists are sort of rippling now. Like just, yeah, I, I love how it looks and I'm gonna stick with this, I think. But all in all, I'm very happy that my armor now reflects my channel so i'm happy about that so tell me what you think as well and what you think i should do as a next housing 
for the NPCs because I found a party girl, I think I found, um, while I was on my travels. So, yeah, we can play around with that. I'll put all these dice in here to just keep them all safe. And, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you like the video, please press a like and subscribe if you want to see more and suggest uh, anything that maybe I should be checking out and I'll more than happily uh, try it out and have a look at it. So thanks for watching and join me in the next one. Bye.